Are you recording too? I'm sitting on it. Ooh. Sorry. Hello and welcome to Movies with Mum. I'm Conrad. And I'm Mum. And I'm Gary. Yes, today we have a special guest. guest. Yay! Very pleased to be here. <laughs> Both my boys together. Rare occasion. Yeah. In each episode, we go on a regular mum and son movie date to watch a film and review it. And the ice cream. Mm. Mm. Baskin and Robbins. Yes. Very exciting. So, how is everyone? Very good. Very good, yeah. Excited. I love having my boys together, yeah. Looking forward to seeing the film. Which film are we going to see? Oh, Gary can say today. We're going to see Godzilla, King of the Monsters. King wow. of the Monsters. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Ah. Oh. How many monsters are there in this thing? I've got no idea. The title isn't that specific. No. It doesn't say King of the 5,000 Monsters. Or we can presume it's more than two. <laughs> yes. Or it's at least more than one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Were yeah. there any other monsters in the first one? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember either. I just remember the guy from Breaking Bad died in the first ten minutes and then I was kind of bummed. Oh. No, there was another monster because he had this big jaw with it at the end, didn't he? Didn't they fly? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was flying a flying monsters. monster. Was it flying? Oh. Mm. They were having babies. Oh. Was it? Yeah, in craters. I seem oh, to Oh, yeah, that's uh, right, yeah, because they have to go down and kill them all, don't they? Is that right, or is that the one with Matthew Broderick in it? No. That was something else. So we're really up on our Godzilla ball. <laughs> <laughs> we can safely say that the first movie was very forgettable. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was directed by Gareth Edwards. Oh, I thought he played rugby. No. No. <laughs> it's a very nice British guy who directed uh, Godzilla after he directed a film called, low-budget film called Monsters, which I really liked. So mm -hmm. they said, well, if he can do a movie with computer graphic monsters in, he can do Godzilla, and he did. Yeah. And I don't think people were particularly enthralled with it because this time it's a different director. Um, oh. Who's it, doing it this time? It's Michael Doherty. And what's he done before? Well, he's best known for... Some really cool culty horror movies like Trick or Treat, um, the Halloween Compendium. Oh, oh, and the Christmas one as well. Um, what was that called? Where everybody's trapped in the house and they're being attacked by that horrible German. Oh, it's German the Anti Santa, isn't anti -Santa it? Anti Santa Claus. What was that called? I don't know. I don't watch horrible Christmas films. I like joyful Christmas films with Crumpus? every point in... Crumpus. Something nice about themselves. What? Compass? They did learn something nice about themselves. What? How to survive? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that they were handy with a saw. <laughs> oh, crikey. Yeah. So he's done lots of sort of wickedly funny... Well, not lots. He's done a couple of wickedly funny films and was singled out as a talent to watch. So he was given oh, right. the chance to direct a major blockbuster overseen by a studio committee that won't allow any originality. So let's oh. see how that works out. Well, it hasn't got very good reviews, let's face it, has it? No. But we like movies with monsters in. And mass destruction. <laughs> yeah, that's always good for a laugh. Yeah. It's a bit of a worry, though, when you've got monsters and mass destruction and it lasts for two hours and 12 minutes. Yes. Uh, it's a lot of time to fill just bashing through buildings. Well, yeah. this is true. So one hopes there's some human drama. I'm not quite sure who the leading players are. The only person that I recognised in the trailer was Eleven from Stranger Things. Uh, oh, that's right. She's in it, isn't she? She is. She's Although, brilliant. I had a hard time recognising her because she didn't have one single rivulet of blood dripping from her nose. Uh, <laughs> Is that how you remember her? Yeah, just constantly with one little rivulet of blood <laughs> dripping from her nose. That's, that's oh, her. Yeah. Cine Cine World! World! There it is. <laughs> On the horizon. And will there be a Godzilla ice cream? 
what would that be? Green? It'd green. Have to be green, wouldn't it? It'd have to be green and it could have chocolate paw prints in it. Oh. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Like it would. Idea. As long as it's not green mint. Oh. It could be pistachio. Does Godzilla taste of pistachio, do you think? Mind you, he lives in the sea, so it's going to be something salty. Perhaps oh. it'll be a fish flavour ice cream. Oh. Uh, no, we don't want fish flavour <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Seaweed or something. <laughs> Seaweed ice cream. Right, is there a space for us? It's looking a I bit busy. I so. Well, there's one there. Well, there's one there. One. We'll go for that one, yeah. Just so we're not too far away, because it's not a very nice day. It's not, no. Hold the press, it's raining in England. Well, it's some awful storm, isn't it? What's it called? Has it got a name, this one? A bill. Bill? Storm <laughs> Bill. It's usually after a woman, isn't it? <laughs> Only if it's going to be a bad storm. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> so we're okay. here. I think we've made it. And we'll let you know what we think later. Yes, bye for now. Bye for now. Bye. So we have emerged from the rubble of Godzilla. <laughs> and the rubble of Boston. Yes. <laughs> and Fenway Park, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Mum and Gary, what did you think? Mum first. <laughs> the monsters were good. The monsters were good. They were in the dark a lot, but yes. Yeah, they yeah. were very good, but I found it totally confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who was doing what to who in the finish. I don't think you were supposed to. No. <laughs> was there a story? Um, yeah. It was about monsters. There was monsters? Yeah. Yeah, and beautiful Vera Formiga, or whatever her name is. Vera Formica, okay. yeah, who decided... That the best thing to solve the ecological crisis that faces our world would be to destroy it. Yeah. With, with monsters? With monsters and nuclear bombs. And I'm watching this and thinking, this is a green message? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was because they killed her son. I mean, she had a good reason. Yes, yeah, yeah. so I quite like the moment <laughs> when Eleven looked at her and said, you said we were doing this for Michael, but do you think this is what he would want? And I thought, he's 12. Mm. He and probably he just wants Lego. <laughs> he was 12. Sorry, at one point, did you sit him down and say, Michael, now, in a situation where <laughs> we're resurrecting dozens of gigantic lethal monsters worldwide, honestly. It's not something you would naturally sit your children down and talk about, is it? Really? No, 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 it's not one of those things you prepare. But wasn't 11 fantastic? Do you think so? I thought she was brilliant in it. She I was good, but she then... She just cried for most of it. I was going to say, she replayed the same scene about 45 <laughs> times. Yeah, but with a mother like that... <laughs> True. <laughs> she kept putting put in situations when all she could do was... Cry. A, open-mouthed, wide-eyed stare. B, cry. Yeah. And that was it, really. <laughs> Oh, bless her. She didn't have much to do, did she? She didn't yeah. even have her trademark blood from the nose. No. I did enjoy the sound point. effects. Oh, I tried yes. an experiment during one part of it by putting my fingers in my ears <laughs> and I could still hear all the banging <laughs> and all the speaking quite clearly. Yes. <laughs> At yeah. one stage I wanted to shout out, this time Godzilla for my headache sake, could you just tiptoe through the city? <laughs> It was very loud continually, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was like Lots 10 out of 10 for screeching. Yeah, thuds and roaring. And after Godzilla had had his nuclear bomb Prozac, well, what? <laughs> Viagra. Viagra. After no, they blew up his yeah. centuries old yeah. house. Yes. <laughs> which he would have been pleased about. Oh, he looked it, he looked thrilled, <laughs> didn't he? Um, he developed a severe case of dubstep flatulence. <laughs> That's right. Everything <laughs> But at least it came out the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, my so seat was shaking it? so much. Uh, <laughs> was it, yours? Yeah. yeah. It reminded me of a breathless toddler telling you a story. It was just like, and then, and then, and then, and then this happened, and then this happened. It's like, who the fuck is who? What's happening here? Why should I care? There's just shit flying everywhere. 
I can I, keep track of who was doing what I for just, what reason. I, I, just, did, I don't think anybody could. Oh, thank God. I thought just, it was just my age. Was I it thought a, you are old. You're, a, both the boys are going to say, Mum, it was this and Mum, it was that. <laughs> I think it was shot in the UK, wasn't it? Judging by the weather all the way through. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it okay. did rain rather a lot, didn't it? So, mm. what do we give it out of ten? Oh, God. Give it three. <laughs> for the number of times it was quiet. Um, um, for loud noises, ten. For screeching, eleven. Mm. Um, for story, four. There was a story. Well, the story was supposed to be in there, but it got muddled up with all the other stuff. I don't know. It's terrible. I'd say a four overall for me. Yeah. I'd say a four. Mm. What about you? I'd, I'd definitely say a three. A three, oh, I think oh it's dear. the worst film we've seen in quite some time, and I'm ashamed <laughs> for Michael Doherty. Oh, dear, but the monsters were good. Mothra was nice. The moth was fantastic. Yeah. Was it a DC thing? Because it was very dark all the way through it. Oh. I was mm. squinting with a headache most of the time. Oh. Yeah. So it's going to be some painkillers for you when we get home, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. It was all the blind flashes that kept making me... I, I was stunned for about <laughs> a second after it. I was like, oh, God, I can't see... Yeah, epilepsy warning for that movie, for sure. There wasn't, no, was there? Not on the door. No. Did you notice no, that? that's true, actually. There were another things we went to see. Mm. How so. about ice cream? Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> so, we both had the same thing. Yeah, we did. What was it called? Was I can't it, remember now. I'm so it, blown up with monsters. I think it was this something raspberry cupcake or something. It was, yeah, something like that, wasn't it? Anyway, it was. It like, was very nice. It was very nice. It was like a cake. Yeah, it was like it was like an ice cream bake wow tart. Mm, very nice. Very nice. And Gary did try a bit of it, and he really liked it. And then he got a sugar rush. He said. My God, that's sweet! <laughs> <laughs> it was sweet. And what did Gary have? Well, my ice cream is as interesting as the plot line for the film. <laughs> it was vanilla. Uh-huh. <laughs> I give that a ten. Ooh, that was it's good. Top class vanilla. <laughs> yeah. What do we give ours? We didn't give it a rating. No, we didn't. Oh, I'd say a six. Oh, I quite like that one. I'd give it a seven. Hmm. Sounds good. Hmm. So, yeah, it was lovely going out all together yep. to see a film, wasn't it? A shame it was such a rubbish film, but never mind. Yeah. Well, look at it this way. Any film we watch after this will be really good. True. True. Mm. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us again on Movies with Mum, this time with two sons. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.